an evening at Alfie's by Shirley Hughes. There's the picture at the beginning. That's Alfie looking out the window. So I wonder what's going to happen in this evening with Alfie. One cold winter evening, Alfie and his little sister Annie Rose were all ready for bed. And their mummy and daddy were all ready to go out for a party. They were all dressed in their nice clothes, ready to go out. And in the living room, there is Maureen, who is the babysitter. And she comes round to look after Alfie and his little sister Annie Rose when their mum and dad go out. And mum and dad are going to a party, so that will be nice. So off they go. And there's Maureen and Alfie saying, Bye bye, have a nice time. And there's mummy and daddy saying, Bye bye, see you later. I expect they're saying, Be a good boy, Alfie. Annie Rose is already tucked up asleep in her cot. There she is, because Annie Rose is only a little baby. Alfie liked it when Maureen came round because she always reads him a story. There she is reading to him. And tonight Alfie wanted the story about Noah and his ark. That's the ark. It's a really, really big boat. And it was full of animals. Alfie liked to hear how the rain came down, drip, 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 and then splash, 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 and then raining everywhere until the whole world was covered with water. Do you know that story? It's very exciting. When Maureen had finished the story, it was time for Alfie to go upstairs to bed. She came upstairs to tuck him up and they had to be very quiet and talk in whispers in case they woke up Annie Rose because she's asleep in the cot next to Alfie's bed. Maureen gave Alfie a good night hug and went off downstairs, leaving his bedroom door open just a little bit. Alfie wasn't feeling very sleepy and he lay in bed looking at the patch of light on his ceiling. It was quiet for quite a long time and then he heard a funny noise outside his bedroom door. Hmm. What could that be? He sat up and wondered what it was. The noise was just outside his door and it was going drip, drip, drip and soon it got quicker and it changed to drip, 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 drip. There he is listening to the sound and thinking that's strange. It was getting louder, the noise, too. So Alfie got out of bed, there he is, and he peeped round to the door, and there was a puddle on the floor. He looked up, and the water was splashing into the puddle from the ceiling, from up there. Drip, 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 drip. It was raining inside the house. I'd better go and tell Maureen. So... Alfie went downstairs where Maureen was doing her homework in front of the television. It's raining on the landing, Alfie told her. Oh, my goodness. Alfie and Maureen went back upstairs where the puddle was getting bigger. The drip, drip, drip had turned into splash, splash, splash. Oh dear, oh dear. That isn't very good, is it? Hmm, said, thought Maureen. Looks like a burst pipe. There she is looking up. 
A plumber was one of the things that Maureen wanted to do when she left school. A plumber is the person that fixes all the things to do with water in your house, the toilets, the sinks, the taps. Better get a bucket, she said. So Alfie showed her where the bucket was kept in the kitchen cupboard where all the brushes and brooms are. There's the bucket. He's being very helpful, isn't he? But now the water was dripping down in another place. Oh, gosh. Alfie and Maureen found two of Mum's big mixing bowls and put them underneath the drips. Oh, there's water everywhere now, isn't there? Maureen got on the telephone to her mum, Mrs McNally. The, Mrs. the McNally's family lived just across the street, so Mrs McNally was there in a moment. There she is. That's Maureen's mum. Oh dear, oh dear, is ruining your mother's floor, cried Mrs McNally. Fetch some more floor cloths, Maureen. Mm. Just then Annie Rose woke up. She must have wondered what was going on and she began to cry. The babies do cry a lot, don't they? Oh, shush, shush there, my darling, said Mrs McNally, bending over her cot. But Annie Rose only looked at her and cried even louder. Mrs McNally ran back to the landing and she and Maureen tried to mop up the water. But now the drips were coming from lots of different places. Splash, splash, splash. Look, Alfie's having a game there. He's going to float his little boat in that bowl of water. And look, he's getting his feet all wet in the water. We ought to turn the water off from the main, said Maureen, but I don't know how you do it. I think I'd better ring Dad. Or maybe she went to get him. And while she was gone, Mrs McNally worked very hard mopping up and emptying the brimming bowls. Brimming means they're so full of water, it's right to the top. There she is, really working hard to try and clear up the mess. And in between mopping and emptying, she ran in to try and comfort Annie Rose, who's still crying, crying and crying, and the drips on the landing came faster and faster. Now there were a lot of puddles on the floor. Alfie paddled in them for a while, it was quite fun, but the water was very cold. He thought that soon perhaps the whole street would be covered with water and they would all have to float away in a boat, just like the Noah's Ark story. Soon Maureen came running upstairs with Mr McNally, her dad, close behind her, wearing his slippers. What's all this then? said Mr McNally, looking at all the water pouring down. He put his head round the bedroom door to see Annie Rose. He and Annie Rose were old friends. Dear, dear, what's all this then? he said in a very kind voice. And then he went downstairs and he found a really big tap in a cupboard under the stairs. And it turned all the water off, just like that. So that's where it was, said Maureen. And then the water stopped pouring down. The splash, splash, splash became drip, 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 drip. And then drip, drip, drip. And then it stopped altogether. Oh, thank goodness for that, said Mrs McNally. Oh, she looks very tired, doesn't she, after all that work trying to keep it, trying to keep the mess cleared up. 
I'll know how to do it next time, said Maureen. But Annie Rose was still crying. So there's Alfie going off. I think he's going off to see if he can stop Annie Rose crying. Yes, there he is, in the bedroom. And he's trying to see if he can cheer her up. Poor Annie Rose, little tears were rolling down her cheeks and soaking into her blanket. Don't cry, Annie Rose, said Alfie, and he put his hand through the bars of her cot and patted her gently, like he had seen his mum do sometimes. Oh, that's nice of him, isn't it? Annie Rose still wore nappies at night. Annie Rose is wet, Alfie told everyone, and her bed is wet too. I expect that's why she's crying. Oh, why, so she is. Poor little mite, said Mrs McNally. When Annie Rose was all dry and comfortable again, Mrs McNally put her on the living room sofa with Alfie and tucked a quilt round them and then she gave them both a biscuit. Oh, she looks much happier now, doesn't she? Sat next, next to Mr McNally. Annie Rose was quite cheerful now. She got very friendly with Mr McNally and he let her play a game with him, taking off his glasses and putting them on again. And then she sucked her thumb and leaned against Alfie and they both fell fast asleep. When Mum and Dad came home, they found them both all tucked up and sleeping, just like that. The next morning, Mum told Alfie not to turn on the taps until the plumber had been and he would be fixing the burst pipe. But Alfie didn't mind not having to have a wash that morning because he had had enough water that evening before to last him for a long time. And there's his Noah's Ark toy. And that's the end. And there's a nice picture on the back. Okay, that was a nice story, wasn't it? Bye-bye.